Okay guys, we've got a booster pump and when the homeowner turned it on, it just popped and it made a loud noise and we tried to turn it on several times and it's not working anymore. So uh, we know the motor is bad. First thing we do before we change it out, take it apart is we are gonna have to test to see if there's power. So using a voltmeter with it off, we're gonna test the two uh, hot leads, it'll be L1 and L2. So we'll touch one there, touch one there. And that is to make sure there's no power. So we can see the voltmeter is showing zero. When we touch it, we're gonna go ground to one, ground to the other. We know that there's no power there, so it's safe to work on. Now, we're gonna disconnect these three wires. Most of these pumps are 220. So you got a hot there and a hot there. It does not matter if you flip them, come, you know, when you put it back together. Uh, but make sure it's on 220. This pin right here can be removed and can be dropped down to the lower level, which would be 110. And you see there's an arrow here. So if you want it on 110, you just move it down one. If you want it on 220, you move it up one. So most of them are wired 220. It comes 220 from the factory. So you're going to have two hot lugs, one ground. Um, so we'll start by taking that loose. Then we'll disconnect the collars. We'll stick the new one in. Be really quick swap out here if everything goes right and sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't right ethan all right take this off we'll reuse it on the new pump and we'll loosen these three collars these two collars okay this is just a um oil filter wrench you can get it in the big box stores I'll put a link in the description. Works really good for these pool uh, unions. Now, one thing to keep in mind as you're swapping out booster pumps on your pool, swapping out any pump on your pool, if you can buy the identical one, it makes the change out really simple. I don't want to forget the ground here. As my helper pointed out, I call it the ground. It's the the bonding wire ties everything together to the slab so nobody gets electrocuted. Okay, that one's loose, that one's loose, and we just pull that out of the way. Okay, this is the new Hayward motor pump. You can see it has the new motor on it and all the markets. Okay, so we'll do the wiring first because that's what you guys are really the most concerned about. Wouldn't you want to connect it to the, wouldn't you want to connect it in first so they make sure the well, wires reach? That's a good point. Uh, the, but truthfully, everybody's here to watch this part anyway. Yep. Because that part, you know, they can figure out. Uh, where did these fittings go? Exactly. But just to keep things interesting, let's go ahead and remake these two connections. Uh, now what I would suggest is Get a tiny screwdriver and pull the old O-rings out. Okay, because we bought the same pump, they're gonna line up perfectly, but if you see that O-ring is very flat instead of round, so it's a good idea. We'll change it with the new one. We'll come new O-rings. I don't know if you can see the difference between the flat one and the skinny one. See how much thicker this one is? Yep. So. Go ahead and change those out, and they just, they'll pop right back in the same. Do you need to loop it first? first? That's a good idea, Ethan. Adding a little lube, we're just going to put a little bit on the O-ring. Doesn't require much, and we'll stick it in the slot. And that will just help it. See how now gravity doesn't even take it out. And we'll do this other one. Same way. It's not necessary, but it does help it stay in place. See how much better that works? So now we'll raise that one up. And we'll just line these two up. Like so. And then this top one, like so. Okay, then we'll snug that up. The other part everybody's been waiting for. Let's fix this. All right. Take out the screw.
pictures. Okay. This is their test wires that they used to test the system. You can see they just cut them when they were finished with the testing. So again, uh, you look at the arrow, the arrow points there. You can see that's on 230V. If you wanted it on the 115, slide this over to the other side. At this pump, there we go. snug that back up like so okay so we have a green that's going to go to the green lug you see it right here and then we have the black and the blue yours may be two reds two blues doesn't matter one goes here one goes here doesn't matter which one you put them on does not matter which one goes where They gotta bend it and then put it in. Oh yeah, well, this one here's a little difficult to get down there. So what I'll do is make the shape I want first. And you gotta keep in mind which way, since you're tightening this screw up, you want the bend to go with the direction that you're gonna be tightening it, because that'll draw it in. If you spin it and go the other way, then if you're putting the screw in, and tightening it this way as you tighten it it will actually cause this to open up so just one little tip there so we want it to go the other way so the curve is the same way and then we'll just kind of shape that Are you kidding who builds something with different screws hand me the yellow nut driver Leave it to Hayward, keep things interesting. I fuss about Hayward a lot on this channel. They, uh, they're, they're pretty innovative, but they also make some things a little difficult. Not sure what the logic is there. Okay, so we have the ground wire, the two hot wires, and we are ready. Put the this. metal one as a ground wire. Well, the metal one, there it goes, goes right there. Let me reach behind you here. This metal one is our bonding lug. Make sure nobody gets electrocuted in the pool. Ah! Sorry. Yeah, like that. I probably won't get in. Okay. I actually kind of scared myself because I wasn't actually expecting me to do that. Do you ever do that? You do something, you think of something, but you're not, like, not expecting to do it, and you're like, oh. Turned out different than you expected? Yeah, I just impulsively did it, and I was like, oh. Bad idea? Yeah, it just made me jump. I don't know why. Uh, brain didn't realize I was doing it but my mouth did uh, thanks for watching you guys we'll see you on the next one be sure and hit that like and subscribe button as well and share it with somebody that needs some help with their pool thanks a lot